Carolina Insider. It's presented by Wells Fargo. Carolina women's basketball off to a terrific start. Courtney Banghart's team, Coach Banghart's second year here in Chapel Hill. 4-0 and thus far, and as I mentioned earlier, averaging nearly 95 points a game, so really putting the ball in the basket. Wanted to show you some highlights of a couple of their early season wins. A big comeback against High Point after trailing early in this one by 21. The Tar Heels won by 25, and then the Heels ran away from South Carolina State as well. Let's check out some highlights from the women's side of things of Carolina basketball. Watts for three herself. That's good. Nice cut there from Utsby and a good look from the freshman pool. Curran into the paint, has it ripped right away by Watts. Out and run another Tar Heels. Watts gonna finish with the left hand. Tucker looking to get it to Bailey and does. Good head fake there from Bailey. Gets to the basket and one. Powered through the defender. Tucker finds Watts. She thought about the three for a second. Instead, going to try and take it off the dribble. Step back three. Nothing but the bottom of the basket. Besides the three-point percentage as Bailey gets an easy bucket. Nice little drop off there from Watts. As well as 15 offensive rebounds. Typically, you think with those two, great look from Kelly as Todd Williams cut on the baseline and Carolina's within a basket. And pull out there for high point. That ball tipped and taken away by the Tar Heels. Watts to Todd Williams out in transition and the layup is good. And Carolina out in transition looking for the lead. Olashinska straight away three. Knocks it down, Carolina on top since the two nothing lead they had when Olashinska made the first basket of the game. Lashinska looking to make it two for two off the mark. Poole with the offensive rebound and the putback though. Lashinska off the dribble, gonna kick it back to Watts. Head fake from her into the lane, a runner. She'll kiss it off the glass. As Watts pulls down another rebound, starting to creep up towards her career high in that category. She's got a dozen. Lashinska from deep. That should do it for this one. Todd Williams will dribble out the clock. Carolina. Going to move to 3-0 and on the season. And they don't have a player individually ranked in the top 25. We're underway from Carmichael. The Tar Heels, of course, in all white. And they've got a great freshman class. Todd Williams takes the opening tip right to the rack. Todd Williams. Todd Williams has five. And now picked up. Transition, here come the Tar Heels. Pass. Yeah, they need to do more of this. When they transition and score, it is key, and Kelly does this, just that. She'll go to the line for an and one. Her and Bailey, super, super close. If you remember a couple of years ago when Murray missed the season, nice three there from Kelly on a loose ball pickup. For SC State, zero for the Tar Heels, nine and maybe more after that one's taken away by Todd Williams. Kelly will finish. He starts the game two for six. Holoshinska, great pass down to Chitenge, and she's got eight. Good hustle, and that's 12 now for Todd Williams to lead all players. See if she can create something for herself. Goes to the bucket underneath the backboard. Chitenge having herself a nice rebound game. She's got 10. And that's the Malou Chitenge that you saw a lot of last season. Shot from distance and in for Kelly. We're going against guys that are on the JV side for men. They're all 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, we're going to be playing against smaller lineups. I hope we're able to handle it. Down low, Bailey. Soft touch and in, and Bailey feeling it here in the fourth. And then we got COVID. I can't go out on Franklin and explore and see what's in Chapel Hill. But she's gonna, she loves living here. And 4 p.m. on the ACC Network against Charlotte before they hit the road December 10th at Wake Forest. It's gonna be 98 here. It is a busy time of year and we have more action for you next week on the show. The Tar Heels will be in Iowa City to match up with the top five Iowa team as part of the ACC Big Ten Challenge. We'll have highlights of that game, plus a big one. Tar Heels on the road against Miami to close out the regular season on the football side of things. All of that and more coming next week on the Carolina Insider.
Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics, and brought to you by Coca-Cola. When you're stocking up for game day, be sure to grab a Coke with a friend. Together, taste better. Carolina Insider is produced by Go Heels Productions for Tar Heel Sports Properties, a property of Learfield IMG College.